Before we jump into the really scientific research, let me just tell you how I qualify for the role of scientist. Basically, I've lived in Beijing for two years and I visited Shanghai on holiday for a week. So that's all the qualifications I need. I'm highly qualified for this. Don't judge me. To decide which city's the best, I thought of a really scientific method. And that method involved thinking of nine categories to compare the two cities on. The first category is the most important category, food. Let's begin. So, first of all, both of the cities have Chinese food on offer. So that's great. I love Chinese food. Chinese food is very delicious. However, Shanghai edges in front of Beijing a little bit because it has more Western chains. It has Taco Bell, Tim Hortons, Domino's Pizza, and it also has Dairy Queen. These chains I've not seen in Beijing. Therefore, Shanghai wins hands down. Because sometimes you just want some comfort food. You want some American or Canadian junk food. Yeah, so that's why I like Shanghai more. Next category is tourist attractions. Now, obviously, Beijing wins this category. Hello, it has the Great Wall, the Forbidden City, the Summer Palace, Temple of Heaven. Beijing wins hands down. However, I would say I do really like Shanghai's museums. And the museums themselves, like the actual buildings, are really nice and fancy as well but Beijing wins, hands down. Next, transportation. Both of them have buses, planes, cars, bikes. So transportation, they're more or less even. However, Shanghai does edge forward because it's more walkable. So if you wanna transport yourself by foot, go to Shanghai. Shanghai is a lot more condensed. I'll give you an example. I was in Shanghai for seven days and I only used the subway twice. All the other times I walked. I walked from all of the different tourist attractions, um, the Bund, the Shanghai Museum. You can just walk around Natural History Museum. You can walk to all of them. Next, air quality. Both of them are rubbish at air quality. They both suffer from haze, so they both lose. Next, weather. Okay, I'm really picky about the weather. I don't like rain. I only want sunshine. So Beijing wins. Beijing, compared to Shanghai, is a desert. Literally. Shanghai, I was there for a week and it rained every day. It was cray cray. Next. Environment. Shanghai wins. Hands down. Shanghai has an amazing river, Huangpu. So it's got an amazing river in the heart of the city, which then leads to a beautiful place called the Bund. The Bund is basically the bank of this river. Lots of amazing buildings creating a beautiful skyline. So Shanghai wins in terms of environment because it has the amazing river which you can walk along for entertainment or for exercise. Both do have good parks so they both draw on parks but Shanghai wins overall. Price. Now I'll be honest they both can be expensive, they can both be cheap it just depends where you want to go, so they draw on price. You always have options. You can always get street food for like 6 RMB, like um, jingbing, like a pancake stuffed with some vegetables, or you can go really fancy, and I don't know what really fancy is because I never go really fancy, but you can go really fancy. Okay, two more categories. Uh, second from last category is art districts. So both of these cities have art districts, and I would say that Shanghai's wins. So, in Beijing they have 798, and in Shanghai they have M50. Now both of these art districts are former industrial areas. So they're basically ugly areas which have been taken over and made beautiful by local artists, which is fantastic. Now 798 is much bigger than M50. I would say M50 is a third of the size of 798, but M50 is better. Now the final category, not so important to me, but it might be important to other people, shopping. Now obviously both cities have shopping malls. They're everywhere. Maybe there were too many, but that's a side point. <laughs> 
However, Shanghai wins because not only does it have shopping malls, it has shopping high streets. And that is what I love. That's what we have in England. Basically a whole road which is just lined with shops. For some reason that's more enjoyable than a shopping centre. Maybe because you get the natural air, the natural sunlight. You don't feel so closed in. So in Shanghai, they have a street called Nanjing Lu, which means Nanjing Road, and it is half pedestrianized. It's really, really long. It stems from the Bund, so you can get to it easily. And um, it's just amazing. It has all these huge shops and it's really great and convenient. And I would say the whole thing probably takes 30 minutes to walk. Yeah, it's a very long road. Also in Shanghai there are a lot more designer shops, they want to be considered a fashion city like New York, London, Paris or Milan. I don't think they're quite there yet but you can see they're trying really hard. Also some brands like Nike and Starbucks have special stores in Shanghai. Nike has a store where you can like uh, recycle or upcycle your old items and Starbucks has a coffee factory slash cafe where you can go and watch beans being processed. Unfortunately when I went they weren't processing the beans but I did see the incredible two-story shop and it was incredible. I was like wow, wow, wow. So you can probably tell already I have a clear favourite, Shanghai. Out of the nine categories, Beijing won two points, which was tourist attractions and weather. And Shanghai won five points, which was food, transport, environment, art district and shopping. And then the two cities drew on air quality and price. They both have crappy air and they both have price ranges for every budget. So, overall Shanghai wins by a million miles in my opinion. I absolutely love Shanghai. I've only visited once, but I'm actually about to return there because it's that good. And if you think, oh, it's because you're on holiday, I still had an amazing time, even though it rained every day. That's how good this city is. Um, if you don't care about walkable cities, then you probably, can't, probably don't care so much about Shanghai, but I love a walkable city. I love having different food options because food is one of my favourite things ever. Please tell me in the comments which city you prefer and why. I hope some people prefer Shanghai like me. I've watched other videos and a lot of people say they prefer Beijing. Uh, why? I think I've done a very thorough analysis and I think you'll see I'm scientifically accurately correct. Thank you very much. Bye.